Socks, Gary Hawking, the forgotten world motorcycle champion. Gary Hawking was born in Wales but raised in southern Rhodesia, now known as Zimbabwe. He earned the nickname Socks because he didn't wear any. He started riding motorcycles at a young age and like many young boys raced their bikes on public roads, trying to stay one step ahead of the police and not hit a tree in the process. At that time, a local motorcycle racer, Ken Robus, pulled Gary aside and told him he was going to kill himself doing what he was doing and he should take it to the track. Gary did and quickly showed he had a natural skill in the brains to learn how to properly set up and maintain his motorcycle. Gary was making a name for himself in the Rhodesian and South African racing scene. After winning a lot of races, Gary decided it was time to move to bigger things and sold everything he had, putting his racing gear into a near empty suitcase and left for England. Now he did have some help from several prominent people in the Rhodesian racing establishment who wrote letters to their English counterparts, but it was up to Gary to impress them. Impress them he did, as he was very quickly racing close to John Surtees, Mike Halewood, and Jim Redman. Eventually, Gary would be called up to the all-powerful MV Augusta team and in 1961 won the 350cc and 500cc World Motorcycle Championships. And in 1962, he won the senior race at the Isle of Man TT. After that, with many friends and other racers losing their life so often, and the fact that the count of NB Augusta was limiting the number of races Gary could compete in, he decided to retire from motorcycle racing. Gary could not give up racing though and moved to car racing like John Surtrees. Unfortunately, car racing in this period was almost as dangerous as motorcycle racing and in a practice session Gary's car left the track and he was killed at the young age of 25. His book is available in hardcover and I will leave a link in the description for it.